we're going to decode The Burbs, which starred Tom Hanks and Corey Feldman. Now, this is important because Corey Feldman has recently come out accusing Hollywood of its pedophilia problem. Problem is, he didn't name anybody. So it's left us to piece all this together. Now, the word urban comes from the word Ur, which was an ancient city in the Bible. It's one of the oldest ancient cities of the Mesopotamian River Valley. This was born out of the Sumerians, and the word Ur literally means Inanna. Now, this is interesting because suburbs can either mean outside of Ur or beneath Ur. And this movie is all about hell. Watch. So Tom Hanks and his neighbors think that they discover a satanic cult house in their neighborhood. It's all beat down and run down. So after they discover some of these clues, they start fantasizing about what could be going on. And this is what Tom Hanks sees on TV. Virgin Sacrifice. <laughs> Cannibalism. So you're thinking, so far so good. It's just a creepy, stupid movie about satanic sacrifice. But keep watching. Oh, no way. Hey, wait, you guys can't go now. It's the best part. I called the pizza dude. All right. Look. Ah, you know, you know, get dude, off my dude, car. you should hang out yes, for a little bit. Chill you. out with us. You We've got the pizza boy. dude coming. Pizza dude. Keep an eye on the neighborhood for me. You bet you, Mr. Peterson. No problem. So I edited together all of the pizza clips and references that seem to point to something more sinister. The one-eyed symbolism. God, I love this street. Keep an eye on the place for me. Why would he have Corey keep an eye on the place for him? Does Corey more, know more than we know? Did, was he helping to corral these kids and run them? We know what the suburbs mean now. We know the symbology of the suburbs. It means Hollywood. How are they, Ray? No, go ahead. Tell them. Tell them. We got the goods on them, don't we? Oh, yeah, you know? You know, someday they're going to dig up the back of that yard and they're going to find the rest of that skeleton to go with that. So the short version of the way the plot goes is... The neighbors get whipped up into this witch hunt frenzy. They're climbing over the neighbor's fence, digging in the backyard, looking for bones. They end up breaking into the house, digging under the house and in the basement, looking for dead people. They find a giant furnace, which we all know what the furnace is for. The pizza furnaces. This is real stuff. But they deflect it with comedy. I'm a shell of a man because of you, Ark. Well, that's us! It's not them! That's us! We're the ones who are vaulting over the fence! That's us! We're the ones who are vaulting over the fences! And peeking in through people's windows! We're the ones who are acting suspicious and paranoid! We're the lunatics! Us! It's not them! We're the ones who are acting suspicious and paranoid! It's us. And then they offer, in the end, they admit that the guy actually had dead people there, but they propose... A ridiculous scenario with a trunk full of skulls. And that's what's called deflection. They give you the impossible scenario. A trunk full of skulls. All the while making fun of conspiracy theorists. And how ridiculous some of us behave. And this is why free thought comes with a certain level of responsibility about what you cover and how you cover it. Take care and be safe, you guys.